just got up here picking up the Mustang. I kept it up up underneath the shelter while oh wildcat. Um, while there was the snow, I didn't want to get snow all over the top, but um, gonna try to hopefully. No 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 oh get I'm gonna try to get it lowered down a little bit. Um, that's the friendly neighborhood uh, shop cat pumpkin. Come here pumpkin. Come on. Let's hop out. I lowered it a little bit the other day. Gosh, she's been all over this thing. I gotta, well, I kept it out of the snow, but it didn't keep it safe from pumpkin. Little turd. Get out of here. Um. Ugh. So, let's get this thing slammed. Get it low. I got a can of map and a, a bottle of uh, propane. And we'll see what we can do. Well, the plan for today didn't quite go as expected. Um, I was getting ready, I pulled the Mustang up and I got the jack over there after I got it washed. And I'm like, well, let me just make sure I got some uh, map gas or propane left. Well, uh, during New Year's, we used that to fire off some bottle rockets. And guess what? The uh, map gas is completely empty and I left the valve open on the propane. So the propane is completely empty. I don't even know if the propane would have worked because everybody says it doesn't get hot enough. but. There's no, there's no propane, there's no map gas, so um, Nick came by and we went and picked up the Subaru, so I'm going to pull it up and get it washed because it is dirty and that'll be a wrap. <laughs> down the road and data log it and then throw it in virtual dyno all right now the way you do a data log if you have a cob i think this is access port uh three is you'll get into where your gauges are and when you got your gauges up if you hit the middle button it says not logging if you hit the middle button it'll go to where it's beeping right there and that's logging and then you can hit it again and stop logging that is how you do a data log but for virtual dyno um, you're gonna want to be in like third year um, you can actually specify it if you want to be going to fourth or not but uh, I just do third year so I'm not going too high a speed or anything I'm gonna turn around right here but um, you'll want to start out at like 2 2500 maybe 3000 rpm and then um, oh sorry turning around when you go, you'll lay into it and then rev it all the way out to wherever you want your theoretical power drop off to be or wherever you want to measure it to. So say 3,000 to 6,000 or 6,500 or even seven. Um, and then you stop logging and after you've stopped logging, then you can do a couple of them just so you can look at them when you plug it in. But you'll take the, the access port and unplug it take it inside I'll show you how to hook it up and I'll show you how to get the um, data data log off of it and then put it into the virtual dyno software all right now that you have done your data logs you've done a couple of third gear pulls You'll take your access port inside, and then you will go ahead and take the uh, the micro USB. And on this one, it's on this side right there. So then, when you plug it in like that, that'll come on access port. And I'm pretty sure this is is relatively the same for all the the access ports. And then you'll get this, which is called Access Port Manager. You load it up, and then it'll give you this right here. And what we're looking for is you click on this, and we're looking for data logs. And we're looking for, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. I 
think data log 36 through 39 I believe so then you'll just click save you can select multiple files by um, holding down control and then clicking on multiples yeah, I don't have enough hands at this time but um, let's see here Drag those right there, 36, 37, 38, and 39. The dyno runs, I believe that was when the, we were tuning the car. He just named it that so it would show up differently. But uh, let's see here. After you saved them, they'll be on your desktop. Then you need a piece of software called Virtual Dyno. You start that up and you'll get a page that looks like this. Horsepower and torque. Then file. Load runs. Desktop. Then you have to fill out what kind of car it is all right I'm gonna go ahead and load these in and I'll be right back all right we are back I got one of my files to load in um, two of them for some reason uh, didn't didn't want to uh, load in right um, it just gave me an error which that's why I did a couple runs just to make sure um, it's definitely not a perfect science or anything it just gives you a good idea um, this is says my cars like 271 horsepower 248 torque that sounds a little on the high side it feels more around like maybe 250 or so because i'm only on like 12 psi boost right now and uh, just judging from how my car was before so it's uh it's definitely running good and then you can go in here and change like air temperature and all all those kind of things but uh that is how you uh get a data log in and and figure out a rough idea how much power you're putting down Sometimes it'll do it a little bit under, a little bit over, but uh, it's always it's always cool to do, cool to know. Um, and you definitely want like a flat road and like no hills or nothing, and, and you want to just be like real consistent with where you do your runs at, so that way you can actually compare them. But um, yeah, this is Brandon with Motor Nubs. Thank you. And just for a note, my car, my Subaru is a 2002, it's a 2.0 WRX. It's got Wisco pistons, Eagle rods, ACL bearings, um, ACL oil pump, uh, TGV deletes. It's got the No Lift name brand. They're like the composite, like look like plastic, basically are plastic. Uh, TGV deletes and... It's got a CX Racing front mount intercooler and it's got the modified um, stock injectors. Look, little, little cat down here. The, it's got the modified stock injectors. They said they were flowed at 850 cc's. Um, I've gotten nowhere close. I'm like at 45, maybe 50% duty cycle, so I have a ton of uh, injector left. But uh, I don't know if I'm on 93 octane. I don't know if I'm going to do E85. I just don't have it really close to me. eBay 20G Turbo. And it's on 12 PSI right now. And as you can see, it just made right at about 260. Um, before, it was making a little bit more um, before it blew up. So it feels about the same, but it's on less boost. So it's running a little bit more efficient, I guess.